Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lasha's Homestead. How you doing? <laughs> Today we have our front yard garden tour, our June front yard garden tour, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I have my hat on. It is. I'm in Texas zone 9A and the sun is out, y'all. I think it's about 95, 96 degrees right now. But let's go ahead and get started. Guys, we are under our oak tree. I don't know if you remember, we planted the uh, bougainvilleas down here under the oak tree and around the base of the oak tree we went ahead and planted some hostas. Jay if you can zoom in and show them some of the bougainvilleas some of them are starting to go bad like this one here so we're gonna have to go ahead and get that pulled out but a few of them are holding up pretty good like this beautiful pink one here is holding up really nicely. Around the base here as I mentioned we have hostas this is the Wolverine Hosta here. And here we have the Night Before Christmas Hosta. And I did see some flowering going on here on this one here. But everything is holding up pretty good here under the bed. We are still in the process of improving the front yard, but we wanted to try bougainvilleas because of the shade tree. So if you have any ideas on any type of shade plants or flowers, I really like flowers in the front guys. I would really appreciate it if you could put that down below in the comments. But let's move on along. This here is our perennial bed, guys. <clears throat> I only wanted to plant perennials in this area and it's turning out pretty good. The only thing with this area is, is getting hit pretty bad with slugs. <laughs> they are eating my hostas. I did go ahead and put some um, a pesticide uh, down for slug. So I need to come through and sprinkle that in the ground again. But right here on the end, we did go ahead and plant some fox gloves. This is the Arctic Fox Fox Glove. I did have to go ahead and prune that and cut it back because the blooms were gone on it. But it's a perennial. So next year, we're going to see those beautiful flowers pop through. Right in front of that fox glove here, this is a lamb's ear. Guys, I pruned this back pretty heavily and it's already growing back. Isn't that pretty? If you can zoom in, I really want to capture the texture that's on this flower. It's like little bitty hairs that's on it. What is that? But it's just so beautiful, guys. Right beside the lamb's ear here, I have my cards because I don't know the names to everything just yet. But over here in the corner, this is a hookura. This is a Dose Wildberry Hookra, and this is also a perennial right in front of that Hookra. If you want to come and span in on the Hookra first, JJ, so they can see that. And I don't know if you see, if you can kind of come right around, there is a caterpillar right on the back, munching away. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> right behind there. There we are. Okay. And right here, catty corner to that Hookra, this here is a hosta. This is a Sunset Groves hosta, okay? If you want to take a look, this is really pretty. I really do enjoy this one, and it looks like some flowers did come out on this one as well. Let's move on along. Right next to that Sunset Grove hosta, we have a Fire Chief Corbels. Look at the flowers on this Fire Chief Corbel, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. So, so pretty right behind that fire chief well right beside it let's go here let's go here all right this here is the electric lime core bell let's get that grass out of there <laughs> throw it back down on the ground for some nitrogen but i really do enjoy this here guys it's so pretty right behind that fire chief and that um electric lime <laughs> core bell we have the summer summer breeze plantain lily hosta let them get a good glimpse of this one, guys. Look at that. We caught a slug right there behind, right there. Get off of my plant. But this is a beautiful hosta. I can't wait for it to grow and get bigger. Moving on along, this is a flower arrangement that uh, came pre-arranged. I just bought the whole pot from Home Depot. I got that as a gift. Well, I didn't buy it. I got it as a gift. So that came pre Pre-arranged, but this here is the Sunshine Ligustrum, guys. I really enjoy this plant here. And right behind that Sunshine Ligustrum, we have an S hook with two planters. And in these planters, we just have some impatience in these planters here, guys. Okay. 
lining the walkway of coming out of the uh, back gate here, we have a perennial as well, but this is the pink perfusion salvia, okay? All of the flowers are pre are gone as of now. I do need to come in deadhead, but here's one. You can see how they look when the flowers do return on them, okay? So pretty. All righty. So let's swing on around here, guys. This right here is our coral drift rose. I did have to come and deadhead this rose pretty significantly because it had powdery mildew. And it looks like we are getting more powdery mildew. If you can come and zoom in on this. So I'm going to have to come and prune this again, guys. <laughs> I am trying to keep the powdery mildew down but because uh we're pretty humid out here in zone 9a all the rain and all the heat is just a good recipe for powdery mildew so we'll come and get that pruned again but check out our front flower bed guys isn't it blooming it's just glorious right now it's loving loving this time of year all of the water and the heat we have a mixture of everything going on in this flower bed as you can see we have a few snapdragons that are still holding on pretty strong for us we also have some zinnias the zinnias are getting tall look at the beginning of that zinnia jj that zinnia is going to grow between 18 to 24 no 18 to 36 uh inches so that's about one and a half to three feet guys and it is taller than my roses if you can come in between the roses on the end caps guys we have the Pretty Poly Lavender Rose. Let them check out the blooms on that. It's a soft, soft pink, guys. It's so pretty. In between the roses and the zinnias, we have dianthus that's lining the border of the flower bed. And inside of the flower bed, we have white dianthus. This is like a <sighs> magenta dianthus, guys. I really do like the color of this dianthus but it's holding up pretty tough against this Texas heat, I must say. And in the middle of these zinnias, the zinnias is taking over this drift rose here in the center. <laughs> if you can give them a, a quick glance of the blooms down there, guys, this is a blushing drift rose. Look at the blooms over here. Oh my goodness, if you can get in between there, that is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. I love the color of that. And we have another pretty uh, pink, uh, no, a pretty poly lavender drift rose here on the end. We have another drift rose, Caddy Corner. That's another coral drift rose that we did have. Looks like it's getting some more powdery mildew on that. When we swing around here, look at this. Uh, this is an ap apricot drift rose. Look at the beginning. It comes out this beautiful apricot color and then it uh, fades to a pink, but just check out that color. Can you see that pretty apricot color on camera? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we have some zinnias that I sprinkled out around that. And we also have white and magenta dianthus also that's growing there. If you wanna swing around here on the porch, this is my showgirl, okay? Guys, you already know I love this plant. This is a braided hibiscus. It's like a pink flower. <sighs> Zoom in, we gotta give them a glance of this beautiful, beautiful flower. Guys, I really do love the hibiscus plant. And guys, as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful pink hibiscus with a red eye here in the center. Guys, I just love this hibiscus tree. And one of the reasons why I love the hibiscus, well, not one of the reasons, it's just a beautiful flower. But the okra also, one of my favorite vegetables that I'm growing in the backyard, has a hibiscus, a yellow hibiscus flower when it blooms. And moving right on along, this here is my succulent. This is one of my favorite succulents that I have on the porch. I love the red margins of this succulent. This is a mint truffle, uh, what is it? What type of, it's not a cordyline, a cordyline. Cordelin <laughs> succulent. And right here, this is my Dianella. I did go ahead and refresh this Dianella with some white vincas. It still have the white alyssum here. The flowers has went ahead and uh, fell off that white alyssum, but I do enjoy the green foliage as a spiller here, which is what I'm using it. I have my 
thriller. Wow, my filler. No, my filler is the Vinca's and the spiller is the alyssum here. And we do have one, one little uh, salmon impatient that made it. Jay, if you can come in and show them that cute little salmon impatient there. So, so cute. But moving on along here, we have our bromelade. This was an orange bromelade, but its color is fading because the heat is picking up. And surrounding the border of this bromelade, we have some red and salmon impatience. Guys, these impatience is actually loving this spot. It's filling in quite lovely. It's getting really, really cool. Right up here, you guys already know, this is my favorite planter. This is a sweet potato vine. And this here is a bougainvillea. And right here, I went ahead and took out some old super tunias that we had in this planter and just filled it in with some vincas. And that should fill in pretty nicely here in the future. But guys, this is the end. I wanna thank you so much for joining me here on Lasha's Homestead and joining us for our June garden tour. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also join us for the backyard garden tour. This is our front yard garden tour. So join us for the backyard garden tour. We're gonna upload that. You should see that fairly soon. Thanks guys.